and you wake up in the morning is basically all pink because the curtains are pink. I'm not gonna spoil it all, but I'm telling you, it is my favorite room. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be something extra special. So a few people have asked me to do some tours and things around my house. So I've been planning a closet tour, I've been planning a house tour, but today's video is gonna be my beauty room tour. Yay! <laughs> so as you guys know, I love to collect a lot of vintage things, which I discussed in my last video and a few videos before that. So. I like to have my little beauty room where I get ready every day, I sit, listen to music, I do emails, I do interviews and everything in that room. It's like my little, my little room <laughs> in the house because Maverick likes to play video games and things like that. So when I want my time and my peace and quiet, I go to my little room. So we call it the pink room. <laughs> Everybody that comes here always calls it the pink room. So we've kind of nicknamed it the pink room because basically it's always pink. And then if you stay there and you wake up in the morning, is basically all pink because the curtains are pink. I'm not gonna spoil it all, but I'm telling you, it is my favorite room. So without further ado, you guys, I can't speak. Without further ado, you guys, let's go and start the tour. Okay, so this is my beauty room and this is where I spend a lot of my time in here i did put a bed here and the reason for the bed is in case we have any more guests and also i don't know maybe sometimes i might want to sleep over in here <laughs> which is rarely but when i do which has only happened i think one time um i don't know i find it really cozy so i wanted to make it like a nice cozy bed so if we have any other guests any other family members are over or we have friends staying that we have an extra room and also something else we have this really nice cozy blanket like genuinely it's so soft i don't know what's on this <laughs> probably my lipstick from when i was folding it so i'll probably take this and give it washed but anyway <laughs> but yeah this is the coziest blanket in the house i promise you and also this is a teddy bear that maverick got me when we first met so he has to stay here too so i don't know why but most of my pillows are always like creased right now i apologize it's not looking his best but i am trying <laughs> So we have some bright pink, some nice just kind of light baby pink and things like that and it matches my curtains which are my favourite. They are velvet and they're so soft you guys, like so soft. <laughs> so it's really cosy once the curtains are closed and it gives off like a really nice pink kind of look around the room especially in the morning. If I turn these lights off it'll get really really dark so I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> but honestly you guys it is such a a cozy room. So I also have this huge box here and this bag um, that I received from Laura Mercier which I just got which I am so excited about opening and I have no idea what's inside. I just received it in the mail and I'm so excited like this is insane like I love their makeup. Ah! <laughs> this is so cozy. I could generally go for a nap. <laughs> Maybe this is why the, the pillows are always crinkled because I'm always napping here. <laughs> That's probably why I wake up at like 5 a.m. you guys, and then I'm always like, by 9 p.m. I'm always like done, I'm like out. <laughs> Unless sometimes I try and stay up later, which doesn't really happen that often, but um, yeah. <laughs> but this is probably why I always come in here for a nap and then like I'll get back up and I'll get back to work. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of my room is my vanity mirror, it is absolutely insane it's everything that i could have dreamed of so this is from impressions vanity they do have a place here in california um and i went there to pick it up and honestly you guys it's so amazing i loved being there and basically i can't remember which model this one is but it has this mirror that you can dim from each side i think i put that in another video um, and basically these light bulbs you can change you can have them like this or you can have them a little bit um, misty or something like that but I absolutely love this mirror and then also what comes with them is they have these drawers that you build and they have these glass like tops and basically I love to just showcase a lot of my makeup and things like that that I've been collecting for many years so the makeup really comes from a lot from the 50s um, and then this 50s magazine, I have a few 
of these I'll show you guys because they open <laughs> so I have a few of these magazines they're from filler brush and they're like just kind of like they have cosmetics hair clothes a lot of different things this is an old 50s shampoo which is really cute and yeah I've made a few videos on my TikTok about some of these pieces and I'll definitely be talking more very soon in detail on my youtube channel so again i did make a video about this it is max factor student kit for their makeup artists which is absolutely amazing um, and some more unused makeup which i've been collecting i am um, in different powders here's a little eyeshadow and lipsticks and um, so i'm gonna have to move some of this because this is something else i just got these these are from amazon and they're little dividers for my makeup so I, in my drawers i have my own just like my regular makeup modern makeup i can like can i put some sections in things like that and um, so i don't lose my makeup <laughs> again in this drawer i have some more unused makeup some original Max Factor Cream Puff, a little handbag which is tiny and it has so many things in it, unopened and unused um, 1950s pink gloves and a little matching bag and then some white lipstick and these are little travel um, kind of cartons that they would have used to travel and put their shampoos and lotions in. In here I have like my flowers and they last for a long time, last for a year and I love white roses you guys. And then here I have like a mixture of everything. <laughs> so I made this hand, you guys. Like I painted this. I was so proud of myself. So I painted this. Um, oh my goodness. I'm about to break it. No. <laughs> um, and I have some of my perfumes that I use all the time. Um, and some more 1950s travel containers that I put here. This is an original Max Factor perfume right here. I have my Chanel number no. five, which is nearly out actually. Um, and this is a perfume that I wear a lot. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites and I just, it's kind of new that I got, um, but I've been wearing it for a little while. Um, this is a little room spray from Trader Joe's. It smells really good actually. I got this candle from Erno Laszlo and it's really sweet and it smells really good. It's from, it's a Marilyn Monroe coat. It says, Erno Laszlo not only heals my skin, he soothes my soul. So I like that from time to time. And then this is also the makeup that Marilyn Monroe did use and I just keep it here too. So as you guys know, I collect a lot of different makeups and things like that, as you can see from the video. Um, but I also collect a lot of other things. And I also want to show you my lipstick collection because I've been collecting a lot of 1950s lipsticks. So around the bottom of my mirror, I put a lot of my 1950s lipsticks um, just to showcase them all because I got this package that was filled with 1950s lipsticks and I really had nowhere to show them. So I decided to put them at the bottom of my mirror so it adds a little something. <laughs> I also have a little flower bouquet which I made. <laughs> And that's from Ikea, you guys. I just made it and I was like really happy with myself. Um, I have little, hold on, little champagne glasses which are pink um, that I keep here. And also a hair bubble jar which I never use. I just got them for like guests and things like that. Um, or if I'm going in the pool swimming, I can put my hair up. Um, but I was going to empty them out and put some cotton buds in them because um, this one I did have and I filled it with cotton pads but I need to actually fill it back up. But that's what I use these for. Um, I do have some old makeup as well here that I just got I have to be find a place for. So they're here. I think this is like powder. It's really fancy. Really, really fancy. So yeah, I just sit in my chair and I do my makeup here and I sing and <laughs> things like that. That's basically what I do every morning. So if you guys can imagine, I just come in here and I just kind of get my makeup done. I sing, I do my emails in here. Sometimes film in here too um, and things like that and organize. So this is like my hideout. I come in here to hide away <laughs> and just to get ready, do different things. So I definitely love this room. I love this table. I love the lights. I love everything. So let's look at some more stuff. So I do have a few Marilyn Monroe pictures, which I put on corners of my room this is an original picture from ginger rogers i am getting her hair tested and her hair is so amazing oh my god i have another little flower here um, and then i have some pictures of kim novak and elizabeth taylor which are in these really really cute diamante frames and then i have some pink original 1950s heels which i got and um, remember my last video which i spoke about how I got all these shoes for $2.99, well that is one of those bitch. 
and also this 1950s bag is so amazing it's one of my favorite bags so i put it here next to these blue shoes again i have these original 1950s little pumps they were over these to bed as well but they're really really cute um and this is an original manicure um set <laughs> it's electric so you just put some batteries in it um and it's still in its original packaging original box it has like all of these things still inside which is amazing i'm definitely like excited about trying it out at some point these are some remix vintage shoes which i love i love their shoes so much and you can still get them today <laughs> this is the bag that i want to talk to you guys about because it's so cool it's basically three in one <laughs> i did make a tiktok about it which i will link at the side um but it's basically three different bags in one it's so amazing this is an original 1950s, nearly 1960s um, hot roller set and they still work. It still have their pins. Where are their pins? Um, maybe I'm too short right now to see. Um, so I have original pins and they plug in. They have instructions at the back here in a mirror um, so you guys can do your hair and things like that. Again, I have another pair of those shoes. These ones need work on them too. And then this really amazing pink bag. So as you guys know, I am still decorating this room. I'm still getting frames and things like that put up and put some shelving up and some stickers because I have some really cool stickers which I want to show you, which I will be putting around the room and things like that because it's not finished yet. It's, I'm taking my time with it because I want it to be a project that I work on for like a long time. So it always gives me something else to work on and focus on outside of work. So that's why I'm taking my time. So I also have this ad I put on the wall here. I didn't really put it up properly <laughs> it's like hanging there but i have to like fix it but the frame had already broken so i had to re-glue it and things like that into place so we will have to change the frame because that's not original just this is original the the piece of newspaper that is in there with marilyn on it um with the luster cream champagne if you remember in my drawer back in my vanity i actually had this one so that's really cool I also have this really cute lamp that I got from Ikea which is really nice and it's really cozy at night time. So there's also an original bathroom in here and this is from the 1930s so we still need to change and decorate this bathroom. We literally have not really touched it since we've been here. I think Maverick was brushing his teeth in here this morning when I was getting changed. But this is all original from the 30s so we still need to fix this up and get it back to normal and get it like really lively again. So I know a lot of people have asked me about this room and if it is haunted. So a scary story alert. <laughs> um, so when we first moved into this house, this is where we stored a lot of our pieces. So a lot of things that we were just moving into different rooms, we kept it in here um, because it was just easiest. It's the easiest room to move things around because we weren't using this room for anything at the time. So as my husband was walking down to this room, he saw a woman in this corner you guys so right here and she was wearing so a green boat neck top and white capris and she had blonde hair and he knew it wasn't me because i was upstairs cleaning and he said that she was bending down as if she was picking something up so i don't know if you guys know but like that was one of my Monroe's favorite outfits her she had a green poochie dress which she was buried in but the green bow neck top and white capris that was basically that, that her, one of her favorite outfits from the 60s and he saw that here. So that is definitely something different. We have been told that this room might not be haunted but it is one of the oldest rooms in the house as well. So we have no idea. We have no idea but that is one of the stories that I had to tell you about this room because it is kind of spooky. <laughs> so I also like to sit here and read sometimes because it is really really nice and peaceful in here to read. So. I just covered my face, what am I doing? <laughs> so I usually collect a lot of magazines, especially auction ones from Julian's Auction. So this one is Legendary Women of Hollywood and it was their collection. So Lucio Ball is on the front here, but they have stuff from Mae West, Marilyn Monroe, a lot of stars are all in here, which is insane. Gloria Swanson, Doris Day, there are so many and it's just so amazing. And you get to see so many random things as well, like random things that they collected back then. I didn't even know that it was happening, but if I did, I would have loved to have Um But I love to look through them and just look at their old things and things that they collected because I love to make my home 
very like 50s and like just vintagey looking like mid-century modern and if I can look at some things that they had in their house then I can try and find it in today so that's kind of why I collect these magazines as well and also just to see their things like I know I've said that like five times but <laughs> I really like to just see what old stars had and what their clothes were like and things like that I love just looking into all that stuff so that's why I love collecting all of those magazines I have drawers just like this and they go all the way down I fill them with things such as makeup, hair products, just things like that so that's where I store on all of those drawers coming down <laughs> Oh my goodness, so it feels great to be able to show you guys my room and my little room because it is my absolutely favorite, most favorite room in the whole house I love being in here, it's my little girly room and it's my glam room so this is where I spent a lot of my time so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a like and a comment of your favourite part of the room and also what you'd like to see next and don't forget to subscribe I'm almost at 50k yay so thank you guys so so much for that honestly you guys mean the world to me and if we can keep growing that would be absolutely amazing too but don't forget to check me out on my Instagram at Jasmine Cheswell and my TikTok at Jasmine Cheswell and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will speak to you all very very soon bye